One thing our people is going to do is celebrate through food. So let's get into this recipe of my vegan barbecue chicken for Juneteenth. We're going to do this old school style because I am not new to this. I am true to this. And stick around to the end of this video and you'll see just why. We're going to start off by reconstituting our soy chunks that I get from the Asian market and some water that I've boiled. Added some vegan chicken bouillon, soy sauce, and my golden chick seasoning. Next, we're gonna go ahead and cook that for 10 minutes and allow that to drain and press out the excess water. In another bowl, we're gonna take some all-purpose flour and my Red House seasoning. We're gonna mix it well together. Next, we add in our rehydrated seasoned soy chunks. Then we're gonna add that to some hot oil and cook that for about four to five minutes until it's nice and crispy. Drain it on some paper towel. Next, we're gonna take a large spoonful of that same oil, add it to a clean pan with some onions. And the more onions, the better. We're gonna add in our soy chunks and some barbecue sauce if you're choosing, some jalapeno peppers, and voila. Start this up with some dirty baked beans, creamy coleslaw, and a whirlwind mac and cheese, which you can find all those recipes in my cookbook. It's so amazing. And when I said I'm true to this, listen up and you'll know exactly why. Here's my daddy. On 15th day, 1991, I decided to give up eating meat. I had already started eliminating uh, beef, pork, and seafood. So my last piece of barbecue chicken was June 19, 1991, the gospel bird. And the reason that basically I did this because I was weighing 225 pounds, borderline diabetic, high blood pressure. And today I am at 185 pounds and I haven't eaten any meat or dairy products in uh, 33 years.